Welcome back guys. So we've got some exciting news. A brand new Raspberry Pi has just dropped and is on sale now. As you can see on the screen here for 35 bucks, the same price as the Pi 3 that we've all been using and loving for a long while now. So this version does have some cool upgrades. Is it worth it? I mean, they're not asking for more money for these things, but the little incremental upgrades, is, is it gonna make things a little nicer? Are we gonna be able to play Nintendo 64 on RetroPie, that kind of stuff? I know what people are gonna say. Can we, you know, does Nintendo 64 work better? Does Dreamcast work better? I don't know. I mean, it's mostly an issue with the uh, emulators, but with the CPU being upgraded slightly, hey, we might get a little better performance out of there. Only one way to find out, and let's get these things in our hands and start messing around with them. I already have one on its way. Hopefully I'll get it soon, but who knows? Can't wait to test it out and check it out, but to take a look at what we are getting with this new Model B+, Plus, we are getting a 1.4 gigahertz 64-bit quad-core ARM Cortex processor, dual band 802.11 AC wireless LAN and Bluetooth 4.2, power over ethernet support, um, pretty good stuff. Faster Ethernet, Gigabit Ethernet over USB 2.0, improved PXE network and USB mass storage booting, and improved thermal management. So they're saying alongside a 200 megahertz increase in peak CPU clock frequency, we have roughly three times the wired and wireless network throughput. Pretty sweet stuff. I typically use my Pi wirelessly. Sometimes I do have it wired through the Ethernet, you know, port to try to transfer quicker, but most of the time I'm, I'm going wireless doing some of the work that I'm doing. And here's a nice little picture. Pretty much looks the same. Um, there's a few differences here with the, the CPU um, and just a little minor changes on the actual board here. Behold the shiny, right? We got the little logo there. Pi 3 Model B Plus, Pi 2017. And then the, the Broadcom uh, chip there. So a little better uh, heat disbursement from like they said it looks like. New features, new chips. So they do have a lot more information here. Um, the new product is built around the BCM 2837B0, an updated version of the 64-bit Broadcom processor used in the Pi 3. Incorporates power integrity optimizations, a heat spreader, that's the shiny metal bit you can see in the photo, obviously. Together, these allow us to reach higher clock frequencies and to more accurately monitor and control the temperatures of the chip. That is definitely awesome. Dual band wireless LAN and Bluetooth are provided by the Cypress combo chip connected to a pro amp PCB antenna similar to the one used in the Pi Zero W. Compared to its predecessor, the Pi 3B Plus delivers somewhat better performance in the 2.4 GHz band and far better performance in the 5 GHz band as demonstrated by these results. So taking a look, the original, the first uh, Pi 3B here, the one that we've all been using for a while, TX bandwidth, megabits per second, we got 35.7. The RX bandwidth, we got 35.6. Jumping up to the 2.4 gigahertz band, we are getting 46.7 megabits per second. Megabytes per second, my bad. And then 46.3 on the RX bandwidth. 5 gigahertz, we're getting 102 megabytes per second on both the TX and RX. Pretty awesome. Wireless circuitry is encapsulated under a metal shield rather fetchingly embossed with our logo. So that's pretty cool. The wire, all the wireless stuff is here with the little Pi logo. I think that's pretty cool looking. Previous Pi devices used the LAN 951X family of chips, which combine a USB hub, 10 by 100 ethernet controller for the Pi 3B plus microchip have supported us with an upgraded version. Supports gigabit. Pretty awesome. And as you can see here, the, uh, the MBS, man, the Pi 3, the one we've been using, 94.1 on TX, 95.5 on RX. The new 3B Plus, 315 across the board. What? We use a Magic Jack, 
a mag jack that supports power over Ethernet and brings and bring the relevant signals to a new four pin header. So the little four pin header there. We will shortly launch a PoE hat, which can generate the five volts necessary to power the Pi from the 48 volt PoE oh. supply. Pretty cool. So there's the, the upcoming hat that's gonna be released. Looks pretty awesome. Man, so a lot more information here. Um, I'll put a link in the description just so you guys can read more information about this. There are gonna be some links in here as well to purchase the um, the new Pi 3 B Plus. So you'll click here, it's gonna give you some options. Adafruit doesn't have them, Micro Center does not have them. Pieshop.us, um, I think they don't have them either. Let me see, I think one of these, if you click add to cart, it just, it doesn't add to cart and it just takes you to the original or the previous version as you see there so it doesn't look like pieshop.us has them at the moment or is ready for them um let's check here nothing here for allied electronics not showing up yet newark let's see about them i think they are back ordered possibly let's see here are they ready to be shipped? Available for back order to, to lead time shown. Uh, let's see. More stock available commencing April 9th, 2018. So you can sign up to be notified. Let's see. Where else? Adafruit, I think it just doesn't show up. Or it says, okay, coming soon. You could put your information in and boom, get notified. The other place, Micro Center, they're not showing up yet. Even when you search, it just comes up with the, the other version. Canakit is the only one that you can add to cart and actually purchase at this time. And it does ship within 24 hours. One thing to note, Canakit, they do ship from Canada. Uh, I've ordered from them many times in the past. Typically, you know, it comes in pretty quick. Um, my location, I believe it was like $14 for standard shipping and then $25 for expedited. So shipping charges are kind of high. Is it going to be worth it? You know these things are going to be out there. They're going to be available on Amazon all over the place. So I say, you know, if you can grab one here and you don't mind the shipping charges, cool. Uh, Adafruit, their shipping charges can be high. It just depends on where you live on how they ship. So definitely, you know, keep tabs on that and, and peep it out. But for now, I ordered mine from Canakit. I paid for expedited shipping just because I want to get this in my hands as quick as possible. But I'm sure if we're all patient, if I was patient, I could probably save a few bucks. But I really want to start messing with this. So like I said, links will be in the description. I'll have this link and the main link of the page we were looking at. As you can see, I ordered that there. Um, but yes... Appreciate it. Smash that like button. Subscribe. Do all that cool stuff. And with that said, guys, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. Boom.